Okay, so for the 8 HP Silent Swim, um, what you're going to want to do is, like the 9 HP one, you're going to want to jump from over here and hold down and right, like for a straight 45 like this, and swim in the water from over here. Uh, and fat, you want to make sure to fast swim like normal. Um, and you're going to count out three damage ticks from the water. So you're going to take one when you enter the water. You're going to take a second tick of damage. And you're going to take a third tick of damage somewhere, somewhere this way. And at the time, like, when that third damage tick happens, as it happens, you want to switch to holding straight down. Directly downwards. And you're going to keep doing that up until damage tick six. And on the sixth one, just after it, you're going to want to switch to holding up and left for another pure diagonal swim and bash at the same time. So up, left, and bash at once. And you're going to want to aim the bash somewhere over here on screen, which looks really far over because you have to shoot it low to avoid hitting the plant. Um, and so after you let go, Ori will sort of curve around quickly from the bash momentum and then swim up and then either just pass this, these thorns or he'll get, or Ori will get caught on the very edge of them and get hit. Either is actually fine. You can get hit by them. Um, just keep swimming up right, up, or up left, and then right here, you're going to want to go up, just peer up slightly, and then up left again, to avoid getting caught on a little nook underwater here, because that could get you killed. Um, and hopefully you should have either half of a, half of a health left, or a full health left. Uh, you'll have a full health left, I think, if you don't get hit on the thorns. But if you do get hit on them, you'll get you'll have half. So, um, uh, once performed, that should look like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. And we're back, and we're back here with an HP swim. The next section, um, I'm actually going to put a save here just to make sure I can get back here in case I mess it up. Um, what you're going to want to do is do the same thing again for the nine, do the same start again. But when you get to the count of three, instead of holding straight down, you're going to want to hold right. Straight right. And then a moment later, like a bit before four, you're going to want to bash straight horizontal again. And then when you let that go, you're going to wait a brief moment, very brief moment, and then hold upright. And then Ori should just barely go over the uh, the lip that's sticking upwards in the water. And uh, from there, it should be possible to use visual cues to swim the rest of the way. Um, but you're going to want to use diagonal motion, like down right after that spike in the water that sticks up um, until you get low enough that you can hold directly right again. And then the plant's going to appear. You're going to want to bash that. Uh, hold up and right or uh, and bash straight. You can bash, bash upwards. Like, you could bash this way, I guess. And you're going to want to hold upwards of course, and then you should make it 
to the surface in time to jump and then sentry jump out. And if I can perform it right, hopefully I'll be able to do that here. Uh, it should look like this. Dang it, didn't get the sentry jump right. But you get the point. Like, obviously, if I had gotten the sentry jump there, we would have been in Silent Woods now. Um, the important point... The important point here is how to get the swim, and uh, hopefully that should help with doing so.